How are you, dear students? Welcome to my class. This is Teacher Rochelle. Let's learn science. Are you ready? This module is all about the essential lessons in Science 6 for Quarter 1, Week 1 to 3. Describe the appearance and uses of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. In this video, you are going to describe the appearance of homogeneous mixtures. It is necessary for us to learn this skill in order to know the substances that are mixed together in a particular mixture. Now, let's have a review. What is homogeneous mixture? It is a mixture in which one substance is exactly the same as the other substance. For example, milk. Milk is a homogeneous mixture because when we look at it using our naked eye, it appears to be just one uniform substance. The word homogeneous comes from the Greek word homo, which means same. It is used in many disciplines to characterize things that are alike. In science, it is used in the classification of mixtures. For example, cement. Cement is a solid material. Milk is a liquid material. Air is gas. Now, look at this object. It's made of plastic. Plastics are some of the world's most important homogeneous mixtures, which are used in different ways, such as food and water containers. It is a lightweight material with a resistant thermal and electrical conductor. Can you identify the properties using your naked eye? No, you can't because it has a uniform mixture. Next, milk. Milk are water, fat, proteins, lactose, and minerals. Milk also contains trace amounts of other substances such as pigments, enzymes, vitamins, phospholipids, and gases. It is a liquid homogeneous mixture when it's seen by our naked eye. The air you breathe is a gaseous homogeneous mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and carbon dioxide with smaller amount of other elements. This time, Activity number two. In this activity, I am going to show you three kinds of mixtures. Observe them carefully for 20 seconds. Then, describe their appearance according to their size and color. Identify if it's solid, liquid, or gas. Then, tell if it's a uniform or a non-uniform mixture. Here's the first mixture. And the second mixture. And 
and the third mixture. Okay, you can write your answers now. <laughs> 